didn't think that it was real, that I was just like overreacting to like school stress or something like that. Um, but when it went on for long enough, they got that maybe I actually had a legitimate argument. depressed. I know I should be happy, but I'm not. Well, as they say on TV, the mere fact that you realize you need help indicates that you are not too far gone. I think we better pinpoint your fears. If we can find out what you're afraid of, we can label it. Yeah. Now, why do you want to kill yourself? I've been working for 10 years now at this meaningless, dead-end job, and nobody here even knows that I exist. Chandler? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? No. Oh. Look, I'm, I'm sure that people know you exist. Oh, yeah? I work in a cubicle, surrounded by people. I've been talking to you for five minutes now about killing myself. And no one's even looked up from their desk. Uh, hang on. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm going to kill myself. Some people that get depressed for years and really can't get out of it without some sort of drug intervention or a change in diet. Or something. Um, I mean, I kind of I've had relatives who've been bipolar who've had mental illness, and you know it kind of stigmatized it for me, and so I didn't want to think about it for a long time. I didn't want it to be like for a long time I would just like have like days and then weeks and then months where I was like not happy, you know, it's like everything felt hazy, and then I didn't want to think about it being, you know, some sort of mental illness. And only recently have I been like, you know, something that like a lot of people to deal with. I definitely think people that haven't been depressed before, because I think they are having experienced it circumstantially, oftentimes don't understand what it's like. So to them it's like sadness, and so they feel like it's something that they can talk to you about and you'll get over it, or you'll have a conversation and they'll sort of say, okay, well, you don't need to feel sad about this anymore. And it's really hard to explain that it's not like that, it's very different, it's very, it's much more abstract. Um, so I definitely think people have sort of treated me differently. But sometimes people have also been more open with me because they've experienced depression and I'm open about my experiences and connecting with my friends.
I'm not depressed now, but I can be depressed and walk through the park and actually feel good about the blossoms and the trees and the dogs. So it sort of pierces.